video is about the differences between friends and best friends. So a friend is someone that you know relatively well, someone that you like spending time with but you haven't quite got to the stage where you're squeezing each other's blackheads yet. Now a best friend is someone that you can rely on, someone like your brother or sister. Someone who you're a little too comfortable around at times and not afraid of showing your real laugh in all its glory, double chin included. <laughs> Because you know that they won't judge you. They're your best friend, and if they judge you, they're not your best friend. So without further ado, here are some different scenarios. Friends versus best friends. Here we go. So you know when you have a friend over, but you start to feel a bit hungry and you want to eat something, but you realise you have to feed them too, because if you don't, they'll probably like faint from extreme hunger or something. But that's not really the best thing to have on your resume, so you got to feed them, unfortunately. But then when you decide to be polite and ask them what they'd like to eat, usually just a friend would do something like this. Okay, so what do you want to eat? Yeah, it's your house. You can you can pick. No, but like, what what, what do you want? I'll eat anything. Okay, well, what would you rather? Anything, like anything. Except I'm vegan, so. But with your best friend. Oh, can I one? No. Oh, they're mine, aren't they? Well, yeah. What's your point? Now something else that I've learned over my long, long experience of having friends for two years is that the longer you've known them, the more comfortable you are around I'm them. I'm mostly talking about staying over at someone's house. It's never a problem with your best friend. I mean, if you haven't already got your own key to get in their house or your own little doggy door, then are you really best friends? But with just a friend, staying over can get a little awkward at times. <clears throat> so, um, what side of the bed do you want? I'm gonna sleep on the floor. Yeah, that might be best. Uh, but with your best friend... This is where your friendship is really tested. Hello? This is also around the time where you stay up late having the most deep chats that end up going absolutely nowhere. You know, I've just been thinking about it and I really don't think I'm ever going to be capable of love. Mm. Now when it comes to personal hygiene and privacy, with just a friend, it usually looks something like this. Hey Georgia, where's your toilet? Oh, it's just down the corridor. Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll be five minutes. Or ten. But with your best friend, what even is privacy? Hey Georgia. Yeah? You're Rebecca, right? Oh yeah, yeah, Beck. Yeah. She posted this picture the other day and I'm just not too sure about it. Oh, I think I saw that, yeah. Yeah, well like, yeah, she's just gone too comfortable around people these days. You know? Yeah, it's a bit weird, eh? She needs to chill out. Millennials are weird, man. But something that's not so weird is sharing. Sharing food, sharing clothes, sharing boyfriends. Yeah, okay, no, don't do that, that's a bit weird. But if you do share your clothes with your best friend, just be prepared to never get it back. However, if just your friend wears something that you're not too sure about, it's kind of hard to tell them without being offensive. So, what do you think? Oh, it, it's cute. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's very well, different. What? Yeah, it's very different. It's... Yeah, it's about me, you know? Yeah. But with your best friend, honesty is always, always the best policy. So, what do you think? <laughs> What's wrong with it? You <laughs> look like Christmas threw up on you! <laughs> However, if a friend is being a bit sensitive, at least show them you care. Especially when it's the time of the month, if you know what I'm saying. Dude, I'm on my period and I have a swimming carnival tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. There, there. But when it's your best friend who needs your sympathy and emotional support, there's only one way to approach it. Dude, I'm on my period. Oh, shit. Now the last thing that friends and best friends do differently is how you watch movies together. With a friend, it may go a little something like this. But with your best friend, it would go a little something like this. All right, the movie's starting. Mm. Intense. I think I just boot myself. <laughs> <laughs>
But you have the same amount of tolerance around each other, so every question and theory that you come up with about the movie is just nothing but absolutely freaking genius. Hey. Uh. Half Blood Prince. Yeah. Will Smith. Oh. I'm telling you, the golden snitch is Moaning Myrtle's breast implant. Luna Lovegood, yep. She was like 57 while they were filming this. Really? Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Looking good for her age. Voldemort's a two faced cow. Yeah. I mean, a lot of procedures. Yeah, there's no double chin. I yeah. need that reality to say. <laughs> Cedric Diggory. He's hot. I can see Lauren. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's that? Griffin door. No. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. But before you go, we filmed a video over on Maya's channel. We did yoga in Target and almost got kicked out. Yeah, by a lady called Judith. We just called her Judith. We're coming for you, Judith. <laughs> so make sure to go over to Maya's channel and watch that video. And make sure to subscribe while you're there because she deserves it. She's one of my best buddies and I really, really love her. And if you're from my channel, go subscribe to her because she's absolutely amazing. Watch all her <laughs> videos. You. Her content's insane. We had a great time filming this, obviously. Mm -hmm. Do we even need to We sound like YouTubers. We do. Wait. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit that big red subscribe button down there if you're new and I'll see you next Saturday. See, see you later. later. Potato. <laughs>